Yo, 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 what's going on you guys? It's Nessa over here, back with another video. And today, I've got a leak. I've got to leak some spice, to be honest. Because, um, we've had leaks that Diviner is going to be in... Not quite sure what the set's called. Um, but just the newest main set that's coming out in June. So I've made, I made a new deck, June Dryatron 2021. Um, ignore the side. The, I should probably take it the side, because, like... The side doesn't matter. We'll save this. This is all we're looking at right now. So, I'll be testing it a bit. I haven't, like, fully tested everything. Um, Lambda's in the extra deck. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, but everything else is pretty much... I want it there. Um, but I may take out the Lambda for, like, maybe another Herald. Or another Synchro that you can go into, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um... But I'm pretty happy with like everything else that's in the extra deck. Um, main deck, you probably I, I'll I'll explain the cards that like kind of need reading in I guess. So like black and white. Um, I'm playing the Vendred stuff. So I'm playing Chaos Base and Chaos Base with these two cards is like combo into higher links. It's the only reason I'm playing it. It's good. Um. I don't think they need it anymore. Um, if we go back to like the list I'm playing at the moment, which is this list, it makes more sense in this list because they're curious and they help you go into curious. Um, so I don't know how I feel about them in this diviner list, but they do equal combo, so they might be good. Like being able to go into needle with them, it's alright. Switching at the other one is really fun. You get to pick where you banish, so you can like. If you if you draw a black dragon and away into Ben Ten, you can actually banish the Ben Ten with the black and then chaos space it back into your deck and then search it out re uh, like research it out again. So, like there's cool little plays you can do. Is it amazing the OP? Probably not. Um, but it's it's still in the testing stages. Obviously, we haven't even got Diviner yet and we haven't got the XYZ yet. So, it's very hard to decide what I want to do with the deck. But I am liking them at the moment. So that's why they're in there. Uh this card is just just this this little bit by here is um the main the main thing with this card. Um obviously uh gamma as well probably is explaining. So I think a lot of you are probably like, hold on a sec. You can gamma in Dryatrons because they special summon driver and all of the Dryatron cards lock you into not being able to special summon stuff that can be normal summoned. So you can still use the black because it can be normal summoned. So use the white, can be normal summoned. You can still summon gamma because it can be normal summoned, but you can't summon driver. However, go in second, you can use gamma. Go in first, you can make needle and special summon gamma because Needle special summons a tuner, but you can special summon diviner because diviner can be normal summoned. But you can summon gamma, and uh, that's the main reason gamma's in here. I kind of want to test like an e telly, so if I take out like the white and the black, I'll probably put an e telly in just something to think about. Uh, but yeah, the the reason gamma's in here is for the combo that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you in a sec. So yeah, um, I think everything else is pretty standard, like the. Smallest Megalith package, uh, Natasha, I just wanted another searchable ritual off Ben, that was like decent. And you can shuffle back Ben 10 with Chaos Base and then put it back into the grave, Natasha it again, like you can use Natasha multiple times because of the Chaos Base build, so it's it's decent, it's, it's better than anything else. Um, I kind of want to put a Lancer in, I think if I cut the white and black I'd probably put like a Lancer and, what was the other card I said? Uh, e Tally. It's something like that. Um, just to help you make Borrel a bit more. Making this card is just... Like, an army negate is so strong. And, like... It, all this build does is just turbo out, like, a big board. It's it's just basically combo-trons. Um, is what I'm probably going to end up calling it. It's, it's just... Everything is combo. And then, like, as many hand traps as I can possibly play. I want to play a third droplet, to be honest, but... Finding room for it again is hard. Maybe the black and white can go out for like a droplets and a uh, e tally or a droplets and a lancia. I don't know. Something like that probably. Um, but yeah, let me just quickly get into a solo room and show you uh, some of the combos. 
So we're not going to start off with something like this. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're just going to put all these back. Um, and we're just going to fish out for the usual like combo starter in... Where is he here? So we're going to start with these two guys. So obviously this is an and. We're going to activate Nova. Nova's going to grab an alpha. Um, then we're going to link off alpha for a link Um And then, oh. At the end, annoys me sometimes. Uh, special summon alpha. By sending the Zeta. Going to grab a Ben. Uh, whatever Ben is. Let me say, yeah. Then we're going to go Zeta effect. Tribute this. Gonna search out a Metionis and a Diviner of the Heralds. Then go to normal summon Diviner. Diviner's gonna send a Herald. We're gonna add a full. Uh, you're then gonna activate Metionis, tributing any one of the dragons, doesn't really matter. Um, and then use full effect to add back the Ben 10. I'm going to use full effect, uh, send it to grave, uh, special summon Ophiel, uh, Ophiel chaining 1, Ben 10 chaining 2, oh, it doesn't really matter at this point, uh, but we're going to grab a Natasha and a Fold Hand. Um, then going to go Meteonis to hand uh, by lowering the attack of this, i uh, going to link these two into a Noodle Fiber. Because uh, this at the moment was a level 6, because uh, it gains the level of the monster that it sends. And this at the moment is a level 6 because it, it becomes Ben 10's level, basically. Uh, and then Needle Effect is going to go off, special summoning a Gamma because we can. Uh, can special summon Diviner because we use Dry Drone's effects. Um, I'm going to link all these three into an Appaloosa on three negates. And then you can kind of see where this is going. Eight. Into Barrel, Barrel equips Hulk. Boom. That's how the combo goes. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Uh, this is actually, well, maybe you're not actually, because this is a decent board. Like, three monster negates and an Omni negate of two cards with still three cards in hand, plus the other three that you would. So you end turn with six cards in hand, plus these two. Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but it, like, if you do a draw. And like uh, droplets or something, like you pretty much have game at this point. Um, if you draw more stuff, you can make like lambda. So if you have gamma in hand, then you c you can go off with gamma. Um, I'm thinking about pulling Dweller back in the deck because you can summon a few level fours like Ophiel and the black and white. Um, so like drop uh, Dweller's like pretty good as well. Uh, you can make IP. And there's so many things you can do. Um, but yeah, this is just like the bare minimum of two cards that are like relatively easy to have. Like it just any way into these two, like just pretty much get you this anyway. Uh, it's 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 so so strong and divine. It just makes the deck so much better. Like just being able to access this this dumb card, like it's so good. Um, but yeah, this is just a little taste of like what the deck can do. Um. Let me know if you guys have been like testing with this new card. I know some people just don't even test for new cards until they come out. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do more combos with Diviner because I think everyone is assuming what's going to happen with Fafnir. Like, everyone thought the deck was going to be good when this card came out anyway. And like, it's pretty obvious where the routes go with Fafnir. Um, but I haven't seen anyone be talking about making Noodle Fiber um, with Gamma in the deck. Um, just because I think they were thinking, oh, well, Noodle's just going to summon Diviner, but you can't summon Diviner with Dryatrons, so, like, it makes no sense. But if you put a Hand Trap in, that's really good going second, and it allows you to combo going first, like, wh like what's, what's, the, what's the bad problem with it? Most people are playing around Gamma anyway, so there probably won't be an occasion where you could have even used Gamma on your first turn anyway. Um, unless you maybe like crying foolish burial first and they try and ash it 
Or they try and like evolution, but I like I doubt they're gonna be doing something like that. So yeah. Um let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section down below. And uh yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and if you are trying out like Diviner, is there any other decks that you can see where this this with where this can fit in? Like I know that some other people have been testing some other stuff with it, but um yeah, just let me know what you guys are testing with it. And if you think Drytron is going to be tier 1 again uh, with Diviner. I think with just Fafnir on its own, I don't think it would have been. Um, but now Diviner's out, I think it's definitely, definitely got a chance of being tier 1 again. So yeah. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.